All right, hello and welcome. My name is Tyler, and this is going to be my playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition. So I've already done the character creation and gotten out of the intro area. I have set it up to be starting out in the hinterlands. I have officially gotten there and done the opening cutscene for that, and that is as far as it's gotten. My character is a male elf mage. And I don't know where I'm going to go with it on this playthrough. So we're going to just kick in and see how it goes. We should see a significant increase. I am sorry for this lag. I probably should have changed a few things around. Because while my computer can run it, it's not going to be able to do it on the master staff while recording. So this will be really shitty footage, and I am sorry for that. Right, where do we want to go first? Mother Giselle can not be far. Thought that doesn't look gorgeous. Just run up the hill. Solus. Solus is, for me, he's going to be my healer. If when I use him, if I ever use him, because he's just another mage. Anything he can do, I can do better. Varric. Varric obviously doesn't use daggers, he's going to use a bow. He's already got long shot, so how about. Not many times he's going to be above anyone. First blood. And explosive. And Cassandra. Sword and Lord. Do more damage with Paper Strike. If you reach the second damage, also stun, taunted. Paper Strike now taunts enemies. We want taunting. Resolve. I believe that's all of them. Yes, okay. And there we go. Oh shit! I did not pay attention to my health. My bad. Kinda need to be alive for this, so. Yeah, there we go. I'm back up. Alright. Yeah, that was sad. I didn't press everything that I really should have done better. <clears throat> oh, I should say, I do have a few mods installed. I've got one for better mages. 
so that the perks are a little more balanced, I should say, and not, you sh I shouldn't just have to choose, I think it's the Mystic Knight class, where you have the uh, Magic Sword, because that one was the only one that could actually win anything. I soloed a dragon once. Actually, every dragon. But, so yeah, I'm going to try maybe not going that way. It's really fun to play, though. I also have a f better Inquisitor perk tree installed that makes it a lot more fun and has better abilities in it. I have, I think, a few more mods that do... I've got one that gives me more schematics and increased loot rate. So it's not so grindy, and I can try to change out my apparel regularly, so it's not boring for anybody. Because looking at the same staff and armor is boring for everyone, including me. So I'm gonna not milk it to the degree and get everything awesome and be top tier warrior mage from the beginning. I'm gonna try to do progressive as I go. So, I'm going to go over here, get this camp, and hopefully I'll find a region I can enter so the graphics will change. So we don't have to worry about the lag that's happening randomly. It looks like it's getting a little better because it's getting used to it and getting into the jive. But we don't want it to have to. Could make camp here. So, let me see if this will load it. It will change it, so hopefully this will... Nope. No loading screen. It's max available. I've got potions. I've got all I need. And honestly, I'm going to try gathering everything I see when I see it. If something comes up and you guys think it's a little bit more boring to see me gather every item then I will do my best to kind of do that when I'm not recording because I will play a little bit but I'm not going to do any major quests or maybe quests at all I might just go around killing a few things maybe a level or two and then turn it back on and record again because I don't want you guys to miss anything if people haven't played it and uh, yeah, it's an older game, so probably everyone has played it if they're going to. But it's fun. So... Yeah, just tell me if you don't want me to show picking up everything. And I'll cut it down. That should get both of them? Yep. I think one of the things the perk does, the perk overhaul does, is make it where I can cast more often. So that way I'm not literally just twirling my stack in the air, hurling bolts, and I can actually be aggressive. And I can even go ahead, and there's a mod for quicker gathering that removes the animation. If y'all think, oh, it takes too much time, I'll go down about it. I kind of like the whole role play aspect of being able to be like, I'm digging through this shit. I'm digging. Part of the blue thing is it does increase gold, so I will have a lot, but I mean, playing this game, you get a lot anyway. So it's not necessarily necessary. Okay, why are you just sitting there? What are you doing? You're gonna sit there and get it. There were multiple options for the download for the more loot. I got the regular one, I didn't get the extreme, which was a really heavy amount. Like, I'd be finding pretty much a new weapon every enemy, so I didn't get it. But it's pretty often. 
health healing. I'm actually gonna equip some things. No, level eight. Look at that. No, it's not making more. So we got for Cassandra. Or I can put it on the head. There we go. Heavy battle armor, we'll give her that. That looks decent. I'm not gonna give her those. Solus. Why not? It helps him up. I think I'm wearing the best I'm gonna be able to wear right now. That, uh, yeah. Uh, no, I don't like it. I don't like my looks. Appearance is everything. And I didn't do my accessories. And a little power for Varric. Belt of healing. Health, belt of magic defense. I want mm, belt health. That'll boost me up quite a bit. Give Cassandra magic defense. I think that should be fine for now. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you guys want me to leave those up so you can read them? I will. Or at least leave a bit more time to pause it because I didn't even think about that one. Having already done that part. I'm going to look into getting Dispel, because I don't know if anyone knows, you can Dispel those Rift Portals before they open, and it'll do a lot of damage to the actual demons that come here. And then they can't do that to me. No way. Rip open the fade portal before all the demons are killed, there's a lot of damage to the demons actually. Okay. Alright. Oh. Love love. Alright. For me to get to dispel. It's down here and I can't get it. We're gonna wait on that anyway. More damage. Shorter cooldown. I mean, that doesn't seem bad. It still costs the same. So it goes up to 400% weapon damage. Cooldown reduced to, or does it go down to 100? Is it going up or down? Fire damage, fire damage bonus. Okay, yeah, so it's a bonus 100%, so that's 400% weapon damage, and I can cast it more. Costs the same amount of magic. Well, this one's gonna make, it costs 10, but it doesn't do any more. Ah, this one's better, Longfire. Unless I read that wrong. If I did, tell me about it. Certain someone might. Uh, pink cushion. Does it kill them? The tenth might. Each consecutive hit with a bow attack does increasingly more damage. I'll take it. I'll take that one too. And now I'll go into another tree for him. Warrior. Let's go. Battlemaster or Vanguard? 
Hitting a target with challenge gets your blood pumping. So it really increases your stamina regen. You can challenge as many enemies as you want with no cooldown. Call them out. Well, will the AI do that? AI restrictions. Back up. Trust the steel. Guard. Charging bolt. War crack. We'll do that one. Get them all in the air coming at you. Tank it up. And I didn't do solace. Alright, solace. I will... Faster casting on it. Make it happen more often. Alright. I should probably do damage on him next time. Been over here. Where am I going? Threat remains. Clear threats at the crossroads. Bye. <laughs> Why does my cooldown seem longer now? Let's go take out a hive of scum and villainy. Templars. There they be. How you doing, guys? Damn it, I'm gonna have to remember to not close those so quickly. I just did it again. Okay, more. Let me see my map. Spread the chance of players to battle rail, ready to meet. Templars are in the west. Locate Templar camp. Okay, got it. I'll take that road. Wipe out the templars. Not behind me, this is fine. I remember this time. Yeah. A little positive section if you need to. Read it. Whatever. Should go from there. Why do you fall down? Nice, a warden shield. I will make that for Cassandra when I get back.
save that there. Ow. Thought that would do more. And I'm out again. I need to get that ability. I get Solus for the energy bolts. Enchanter armor, that would be mine. Considerably better than what I'm wearing already. I can already tell. And I'm not level 9, of course. So that's just how it goes. By the time I'm level 9, I'll have something better, or I'll have forgotten about it. The Templars have secured a position ahead. I don't know if I mentioned that I have a level up. Increase it also. It's increased the level rate by 30%. So it's not again, it's just not so grindy. So I don't know if it actually increases the amount of experience gained, but I think it, incre it decreases the amount required for the next level. And that quest is done. So we can say we accomplished something in this episode so far. We need this. I believe it's sword. Swedish fingers, yes, it is. There's one more chest. And I believe I'm gonna call it quits at this episode. Uh, uh for this episode. I think that's a good ending point. I completed a mission involving just killing one of the major groups in the area. I'm going to show anyone who hasn't seen the weapon yet. It's kind of cool looking. It's a sword. It's only 80, but it's got more abilities on it because it's unique. Like a special grip and... 3% attack, 3% critical, and 3 willpower. So it should actually buff her up. Yeah, it's got a green on there. So it is actually increasing her damage. And then that's what it looks like. It's actually a hand. So it's kind of cool. Maybe not practical, but cool. So, yes. Thank you for joining me and watching. I hope you have a great day.